What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dustin and around here we like to talk about all things bow fishing. So go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell. Now today, as you can see, I'm wiring up a new set of lights from my buddy Keith and we have got a special way to make connections. Today we're talking about this three-way junction box that you can find on Amazon and I'm here to tell you it's one of the best ways that you can wire all of your lights on your bow fishing boat. It's a waterproof connection. It's even got a little tab on top there. You can run a zip tie. So uh, let's get into it and I'll show you exactly how to use this thing. So these things are pretty cool. Okay, three way for every drop, every light. Okay, we've got a drop. This is our main line. Power comes across here, drops off, makes power. Pretty awesome. Um, once you take it apart, you see our caps laying over here, and this is what it looks like. The grand part of this is there is no crimp connections, there's no electrical tape. You know who you are. I'll come down to Mockport and see you soon, but you know who you are. So as you can see right there, there is a ground and an N and an L marked on each one of those terminals ground neutral and a live wire we're using a i think this is a 12 3 trunk uh landscaping wire okay typical always use a ground on all of your boat connection guys uh, especially ac so green is ground the black is the live wire on ac and the white is the neutral it's plug and play it's pretty simple stuff now on the lights themselves, a little different story. Um, most Chinese lights are gonna be like this right here. You have a, a yellow with a green stripe. That's gonna be your ground, okay? Your brown wire will be your live wire and your blue wire will be your neutral wire. So these are pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Make sure that you thread both pieces onto the wire before you do your splitters, okay? Before you do all your stripping and all that. But got three connections to make. I'll just go ahead and I like to start with my ground. We'll run that in there. Tighten it down with a screw. And then we'll make our other two connections. Okay, so we've made all three of our connections right here on our main line. And we're going to go ahead and pull this down. Now, on this, this is more of a landscaping wire. It's waterproof rated, IP68 rated, which is great. Um, just make sure, you, like you can do this with extension cord, just make sure it is UV rated. Okay, um, this boat going to be stored outside it's going to spend its life out in the sun when it's parked in the house and you do not want the outer coating to uh, to break down in the sunlight so you can see we've we've pushed our rubber grommet in here and these uh these long strips will actually clamp down with this locking collar so we'll put our locking collar on there tighten it down and that is one connection of our three-way drop. So on this particular boat, we've got 16 lights. And we ended up using 10 of these T connections or three-way junction boxes, okay? Um, if you look on Amazon and type in three-way electrical junction box, it'll look like this right here. are looking good. Just a little electrical tape to take care of the, uh, you know, the slack. Keep our uh, extension cord wire out of the way. Free from getting snagged on anything. I like it. 
we have used 10 of these for 16 LEDs. We did five on that side, five on this side. Now, back over here, our first light, it won't use one. It'll just do main line to the next light, all right? We've got a T there. And then we did a T right here because we're actually gonna take that side and go into our storage area right here and you know hide our wires. So that is our starboard side. It's all wired up nice and pretty. Um, we've got a T drop at each light. And since we had three lights that were really close up there, well, we were able to do a double into one side and it worked out really, really well. Um, I hope this helps guys um, this is very very simple a simple you know little wire stripper and the right size screwdriver make sure you use the right one because the uh, the screws on that are very tiny you see I got my spectacles out and we're uh, you know doing some uh, micro work today but hey works out really well so if you guys like today's content don't forget to share with a friend hit the subscribe box and uh, hey you know the deal Shoot straight, shoot off, and don't forget to wear the personal flotation devices, and we'll see you on the next one. Link in the description to the Amazon uh, yeah, page where you can buy these. Save you all some time. We'll see you.